Hey artists, in this tutorial, we will cover how to take professional, high quality images of your artwork that can boost your sales. Guiding us through this tutorial is pro photographer Alex Seeley. He is motivated by enhancing brands through exceptional photography. Alex is most known for his e commerce photography. He's worked with big brands such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Lord and Taylor, and many more. He's also had fine art photography shows with groups and solo exhibitions in many galleries. His passions lie within contra photography and photojournalism. Check it out. Are you having trouble photographing your artwork? Have you ever felt overwhelmed deciding on how to light your work? Maybe you're trying to create a solid reproduction of your work for artwork prints. In this video, you will learn how to make photographs that best represent your artwork. You will learn how to use lighting and image stabilization techniques to your advantage with the intent on making your work appeal to your audience. Our equipment includes a Canon 5D Mark III with a 100mm macro lens, a tripod, a tripod head, pocket wizards, bloop, palsy bloop, buff bloop, alien bees, bloop, light bloop, stands, C stand, bloop, soft boxes, bloop, bloop, a roll of seamless paper, A clamps, a MacBook Pro, tether cord, and yourself. When photographing two dimensional work, two lights should do the trick. We are using two lights with large soft boxes, which will aid in diffusing the light evenly across your artwork. This is particularly important when lighting large pieces. Place the lights at a 45 degree angle in relation to your artwork. Make sure that the lights are equally spaced in relation to the piece that you're lighting so that the light is distributed evenly. Also, in the interest of even light, check that your flash output is set to the same power on each light head. Place your artwork so that it hangs level. Make sure that there is no unwanted texture on the wall. Now that your artwork is level, it is important to make sure your camera is level too. Many cameras, including the Canon Mark III, have a level tool built in. Align your camera with the center of the work. If the camera is not centered, vertically and horizontally, it will affect the visual perspective and cause distortion. Distortion will also occur when using a lens wider than 50 millimeters. For this demonstration, we are using a 100 millimeter macro lens, but anything over 50 millimeter will do the trick. When photographing your artwork, the best type of environment is a large empty space with tall ceilings and white or neutral walls that will help give you total control of the lights and elements. Make sure that you are using the appropriate white balance settings. We suggest using the flash mode. Shoot in manual focus mode. Although you can focus using the viewfinder, I prefer to take advantage of the camera's LCD screen. It helps me see what's in focus more clearly than I can see looking through the viewfinder. I have tethered my camera to my laptop using a mini USB cord. I'm processing the photos using Adobe Lightroom using the tethered import option in the file menu. While not a necessity, shooting tethered is helpful because it helps reassure me that I'm on the right track by showing me the images I make on a larger screen in real time. There is no minimum or maximum number of images you should take, but you should try to show off your work comprehensively in the most efficient way possible. Decide on a main image, find the best angle to represent your art, and then take other photos in different angles for supporting images. In addition to a sharp, clean representation of your artwork, you may wish to consider taking a photo of your photo being held as a supporting image. This can help to make the work seem like more of a tangible object. This shot will also demonstrate the size of your artwork to your audience. When photographing three-dimensional work, we are using a three-light setup. There are many choices you can make about photographing three-dimensional art. You may want to photograph in a still-life environment and light your work dramatically, or you may choose to create a more neutral fashion to eliminate distraction. For this demonstration, our goal was to represent the sculpture by creating a clean, white atmosphere. 
Here we are using a large softbox and a strip box with a grid attached to aid in controlling the direction of the light. Our third light is attached to a C-stand and placed above the set to blow out the background to create a clean white effect behind the sculpture. Our artwork is photographed on top of a roll of seamless paper to help us achieve that clean, white look. Your goal is to describe the form of your sculpture with a couple angles that best represent it. For this piece, we chose an angle that showcased the artwork's best features. The image showcases the beautiful sculptural detail, but also reveals that it is a functional bowl. Start improving your sales by producing photos of your artwork that actually do them justice. Your audience will take you more seriously as an artist once you step up the quality of your photography. Stop feeling overwhelmed by artwork photography. By using these techniques, you will create sharp, evenly lit, flattering photographs of your artwork that represent them the way they deserve to be portrayed. Thank you so much for watching. Keep up the learning and growing to become a better artist. Explore thecreatorclub.com for more info and more inspiration. I'll see you there.